This video is all about the spark plugs. So the next thing I want to do is just take them out and have a look, inspect them and see what needs to be done. First one out. So I've taken the plugs out. Must admit, I'm not normally this organised with uh, having them labelled like this, but I usually just do one at a time. Um, but for the purpose of this video, taking them all out, it's really important to put them back in the right order, in the right place, and you want to know exactly what's going on. So. Um, reading through the list of things I need to check, um, first thing is the gaskets down here. It says if they're half what they um, were to begin with, you can you can reuse them. And yeah, they look, the gaskets look, look fine to me. Probably the, the better thing, um, the main thing you're really looking for is the colour. And what it's saying is normally it should be powdery and range from brownish to greyish tan colour. I reckon they, they are. It's pretty brown, tan colour. If anything, maybe a little bit darker, which is probably from the leaky oil. Okay, so the plan is to just hit these with a bit of carby cleaner. Then put them in the vise. So the next thing we're going to do is set the gap and when it talks about setting the gap it's a little space in here between the two electrodes these want to be nice and clean and parallel um, so really you want to try and bend this from down low as you can if you have to open it up so the specifications for this is um, 025 of an inch and yeah so that you find that one in your feel gauge and yeah, you can see that just needs to be opened up a little bit. There's specific tools that grab this and rock it back. They're really good. But if you haven't got anything that, you really all you need to do is open this gap up. So I'm going to just use a paint scraper just to show you that it doesn't need to be that complicated. So you don't want to use your feeler gauge because that's going to upset. So just pretty well it there. If you need to make it slightly Small, you just give it a few little taps down. Just get it so it's a nice fit. Continue on with the others. So that's number one done. Move on to number two. Oops. So it's a bit small as well. Just wedge that in there. a little bit tight. Yeah, that's pretty good. So it's contacting maybe a little bit much. That one's good. Number three, that feels right. That was probably the, the dirtiest one as well. Four. A bit tight as well. That's it, so next we'll put them back in.
All right, so that's all done. If you haven't already, it's a good idea to um, label all your leads. I've got just a little sticker and I wrote on with a pen. One, two, three, four. Just makes life a lot easier. You think you'd um, remember where they go, but you often just get mixed up. And yeah, if you write it on there, it takes all the guesswork out.